Greetings pen pals. I have a little different video. This time is a bonus video. We're not going to be talking about fountain pens at all. We're going to be talking about ballpoints and in particular a very, very specific sort of niche category of ballpoints and these are pressurized ink ballpoints. So what are pressurized ink ballpoints? Well, uh, they're, they're most, they're, they are ballpoint pens where the ink is, uh, uh, does not depend on gravity to flow. The uh, ink does have, is pressurized to come out of the pen, um, and they're designed to write in adverse conditions. Uh, the most famous of these uh, was created uh, uh, to write in, um, in, in outer space, in zero gravity. Uh, by astronauts. Um, this pen is the Fisher Space Pen um, that I'm holding right here. Uh, this pen is very, very famous and very well known. In fact, there was an entire episode of Seinfeld uh, uh, quite a few years ago devoted to uh, this pen. What kind of pen is that? This pen? Yeah. Oh, this is an astronaut pen. It writes upside down. They use this in space. Um, so as you can see, this pen does have some notoriety to it. There's also a very famous bit of folklore where the, the legend goes that NASA spent millions and millions of dollars in research to develop a pen that would write in zero gravity while the Soviet space program just simply used a pencil. Um, that's a nice, cute sounding little story, but it's really not true. A couple of things. One, writing with a sort of graphite and wood pencil or graphite pencil in space would actually be dangerous. The little minute particles of graphite could float around in zero gravity, get into the astronaut's eyes, find their way into the instrumentation, short circuit things, etc. So um, writing with a graphite pencil in space would actually not be a practical thing to do. Secondly, NASA actually didn't pay for development of the Fisher Space Pen. The Fisher Space Pen company did, and um, uh, uh, NASA just simply went and bought the pens just like anybody else would. So we're going to talk about um, a couple of different pressurized ink pens and different options and stuff like that. There's basically two different types of technology that is used to uh, accomplish the uh, uh, ink pressurization. And we'll talk about both those and I'll show you some examples. So we'll start off with the Fisher AG7. This is the sort of granddaddy of them all. This is the original Fisher space pen. Um, Fisher uh, originally came out with this, and, and there's a lot. They have subsequently came out with many, many variants of this pen, special editions, different materials, etc. They also have different form factors, uh, space pens. There's like a bullet shaped one, etc. So, but this is the uh, sort of original uh, Fisher space pen. It is a uh, push to click ballpoint pen with a side button for retraction. One thing I will say, it's not the loudest clicking action of any ballpoint pen that I have, but it is absolutely the most uh, precision engineered uh, ballpoint uh, mechanism that I, I own. This is really quite something. This is the, 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 just sort of the build quality on this is just absolutely outstanding. It's all stainless steel, looks just great. Uh, the grip section has these concentric rings for gripping purposes, etc. Just uh, just works uh, fantastic. On the clip, it's got a really great looking clip, a really great working clip. It says Fisher and AG7 fairly prominently on the clip. And around the uh, band, uh, not the band, it doesn't have a band, around the way the joint is, it says Fisher uh, AG7 Space Pen, Fisher USA um, on it. Um, um, and that's uh, basically the sort of aesthetics of this pen. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it because it's uh, it's all it's all metal, but uh, great great uh, pen. But the really important thing is the Fisher, Fisher Space Pen refill, which this pen uses. So we can open this up. While we're opening up, you can see it's got a lot of threads, and it's the in, the interior is all sort of brass, uh, really really high quality. You got brass lining there. You got this brass business here to sort of hold the cartridge steady so the cartridge does there's no um there's no wiggle uh, uh of the refill when you're when you're shaking this so this really again it's just built uh, really really well but the important thing is this fisher space pen uh refill so this is pressurized there's nitrogen gas injected in here and it's all sealed so if you would actually puncture this the ink would actually expel out of it because it is under pressure. So the whole point is it doesn't depend on gravity to make the ink flow. Uh, so it can write in all sorts of adverse conditions, underwater, uh, when the paper might be wet in the rain. Uh, you can write upside down. It can write in space in zero gravity, etc. So it's sort of an adverse 
conditions uh, writing a uh, pen. Uh, so, but uh, the, tr the, the secret is not really in the pen itself, it's in this pressurized ink um, refill. Now, this is a proprietary form factor refill, meaning it's really designed for Fisher space pens. So, um, if you want to get this Fisher space pen technology, uh, you have two options, but they're, and they're both pretty good. You buy a Fisher space pen, um, and there's lots of different varieties, etc. Um, and then you get the Fisher space pen technology that we talked about. You have another option though, which is really nice. Uh, so when you buy a Fisher space pen refill, and the nice thing is these refills come in lots of different colors. Really, some of the best color selection of any ballpoint refill made. You got browns and purples and reds and greens and just and per, you know tons and tons of different um, uh, ink options on this, which is really really nice. Each of these refills comes with this little plastic adapter. And what is that little plastic adapter for? That will allow you to use this refill in any ballpoint pen that uses a standard Parker uh, G2 style uh, refill, which is as close to a universal ballpoint refill as they come. It's very, very common. So, for example, this pen here, which is a Rote Ring Tiki, is a pen ballpoint that uses a Parker style uh, universal refill. So we can I can open that up and I can show you what that looks like. So this is a typical Parker style refill. Um, it looks a little bit like the Fisher Space Pen refill, but it's, uh, it's a bit longer and has a particular plastic end that's in a particular shape, etc. If you were to take the Fisher Space Pen um, refill, put this adapter on it, it will basically look like this, and then you'll be able to use it in, say, this pen, which is a pen that's designed to uh, take a Parker style refill, or you could use it in any ballpoint that uses a Parker style refill. So if you happen to have a pen laying around with, that uses a Parker refill, which I'm sure you do, you could basically turn it into a Fisher Space Pen, or at least have all the features of a Fisher Space Pen by getting one of these, which is really, really, um, uh, really a great, uh, great uh, deal. So if you want a Fisher Space Pen uh, effect, you know, all the, all the advantages of writing with a Fisher Space Pen, but don't want to Either you don't like the Fisher Space Pen, so you don't want to buy a Fisher Space Pen, or you happen to have a favorite ballpoint pen that you really like, that you'd like to sort of upgrade, this is a great, great option. But it's not the only option. There is another option you can avail yourself of. Fisher is not the only company that makes refills like this. So there is, um, inside this pen, I actually happen to have a thing called a Schmidt P950 refill. This is a pressurized ink refill made by a different company, made by Schmidt in Germany. Um, now, what's nice about this one is this one is already a Parker uh, uh, compatible refill. So you could literally just buy this, no adapter necessary, put it in any pen that uses uh, Parker style refills, and you effectively turn that pen into pretty much a Fisher Space Pen. It basically uses the same type of technology. It's a pressurized ballpoint ink uh, cartridge that uses the uh, exact same technology. And like I said, you fit it, fit it in any old ballpoint that you have, cheap one, expensive one, doesn't matter, that uses um, uh, Parker refills, and then you're good to go. So here you have two, uh, you basically have um, three options really. Uh, get an actual Fisher Space Pen, get a pen that uses a Parker refill with a Fisher Space Pen refill and use the adapter or use the Schmidt P950 refill in any old Parker style ballpoint that you have. So you have a lot of options if you want sort of this pressurized technology, but that's not all the only options. There are other ways that people have implemented uh, pressurized ballpoint pens. So for example, this is a Pilot Downforce. This also is a pressurized ballpoint pen, but it works very, very differently. It uses a somewhat conventional ballpoint refill, but what it does is, I like to call this pressurized on demand. Basically, whenever you click the pen, it actually is forcing air behind the refill. It has a sealed system that forces air into the refill. So the pen will be writing under pressure, 
um, even without having a pressurized refill. It has a fairly conventional refill. So if we were to open this up, what you're gonna see looks like a kind of ordinary ballpoint refill. But notice that instead of the ballpoint refill sort of just kind of floating loose, it's actually fitted into this fitting here, which makes a, actually a very tight seal around the, the refill. So what will happen is, I'll put that back in, um, what happens is, again, whenever you, uh, whenever you um, click the button, it's actually forcing air in, and so it's building up so that there's a higher air pressure behind the ink than in front of it. So again, it will not depend on gravity to have the ink uh, flow. It will uh, essentially, um, you know, use the air pressure that's generated on each press. Now, it might look like you could just take any old uh, ballpoint refill and that'll fit and shove it in there. And while that might be technically possible, Pilot does not recommend that because what's uh, the refill might not be designed to accommodate the air pressure being shot into it from the back and you may end up with a leaky pen. So there are certain Pilot refills that they specifically recommend you, um, you, uh, you use. So we can talk about this pen for a minute. It's a pretty uh, nice pen. It's uh, Pilot Downforce. It's got this pretty cool high-tech looking clip. All plastic, light pen, etc. Very, very different, obviously, than, than something like this. Um, it's a pretty girthy pen. Got some rubberized grip here, etc. Um, again, it's got this click action. It's got this little window that kind of um, kind of shows you when the pens, uh, that kind of changes color when the pens retracted or not. Um, got this very springy, spring-loaded, high-tech looking clip. One unique uh, thing, well not unique, but one thing that might be a little bit different about it is it's a push to click, but to retract you don't push the top. You uh, actuate the clip and that retracts it. That's really designed, and that's not unique to this pen, there's lots of bullet points that do that, but what that type of mechanism is designed to do is designed to stop you from accidentally putting the pen in your pocket with the nib out. So what happens is if you go to stick this in your pocket with the nib out, when you go to clip it to your pocket, it'll it'll retract, which is, which is a pretty nice feature. So that's the Pilot Downforce. Pilot Downforce is not the only game in town. Um, uh, when it comes to this type of technology. Tombow also makes a pen called the Air Press, which works the exact same way. Much, it's obviously a much smaller pen, as you can see. It um, uh, has a somewhat of a different look to it. it has this really kind of neat spring-loaded, kind of extremely high-tech looking metal clip. It's got, again, got the similar kind of window on the side. It has a little lan lanyard loop. Works somewhat conventionally. You push it to extend, push to retract. But again, it's pressurizing behind the, um, behind the ink every time you push down. So we can open this up and see what's going on here. This uses a similar style refill. Pull it out again. This is this is stuck into a fitting in there. That's why you, it, it takes a little bit of effort to come out. As you can see, much shorter refill than the one on the Pilot, uh, but again, a similar kind of functionality, whereby it builds up the air pressure behind the uh, behind the ink every time you uh, you click. So you've got a couple of options here. Uh, let's talk in terms of cost. So. These guys are in the $20 or so range each, so there's, that's what that would cost. The Fisher Space Pen itself is pretty expensive. This pen right now, I think, costs about 50 bucks or so, maybe even more, so this is not a cheap pen. That's by far the most expensive way to go. The cheapest way to go would be definitely buying either the Fisher Space Pen refill and the Schmidt refill and just sticking it in any old pen that you already happen to have. So that's definitely the cheapest option. The mid-range is this uh, technology, but this is totally different technology to achieve the same to achieve the same uh, purpose. So the Fisher and the Schmidt uh, 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 direction are pretty much use the same type of pressurized refill, whereas these use the pressure on demand feature. Now, which one works better? In other words, if you're in space, which one would work better? I don't know. I've never been to space. As far as I know, I don't think anyone's ever actually tested these side by side in space. I've never had any of these uh, fail me in terms of writing reliably, so I can't speak that. If you had to push came to shove and I had to guess which one would probably be um, uh, m more reliable in terms of writing upside down and adverse condition writing, etc. I might go with the Fisher and the Schmidt rather than these guys. I think you're probably dealing with sort of um, a more um, a highly engineered, controlled, pressurized system here than relying on um, the mechanism of, the pen, of, of a fairly inexpensive pen to actually reliably pressurize 
think behind that. But I have no experimental basis to 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 uh, one way or the other. They all work great. Uh, again, these guys are both pretty reasonably uh, priced. You're talking inexpensive pens here. These refills are, are cheap. The Fisher refill is pretty inexpensive, etc. So, whichever way you want to go, um, you'll you'll uh, can't go too wrong. But I'm sure you want to see for yourself how these guys write, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, first out of the gate, we're going to try the Fisher Space Pen. So here we have. And this writes quite smoothly. So this is a this is a um, pretty smooth writer. Um, not the smoothest. If, look, if you're looking to have a ballpoint or a roller ball and you're really looking for smoothness, if that's the main thing you want, then you really need some sort of a roller gel. This is in many ways an old school uh, oil-based ballpoint uh, pen. It just has this kind of cool pressurized uh, feature going on. But again, writes, writes quite well. No complaints there. That's the Fisher Space Pen. Um, this pen is a rote ring ticky, but who cares about that? What we're talking about is really the refill. So it's, the refill is a Schmidt. P950 refill, and again, pretty much the identical writing experience to the Fisher Space Pen. We're talking about sort of an you know old school oil oil based ballpoint um, uh, pen ink. Um, writes well, no complaints uh, there. These two, as far as I'm concerned, really have virtually the identical writing experience, at least uh, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now we can go to the uh, the sort of pressurized on demand pens. So here we have the Pilot Downforce. And I'd say this is this is a little bit smoother than the Fisher and the Schmidt pen. Uh, we'll chalk that up to perhaps that Pilot is just makes exceptionally good uh, refills, etc. But um, um, you know, it definitely is. I think it's a little bit smoother in terms of smoothness and writing, etc. But we're talking about very different technology here at work to achieve the uh, pressurization uh, mechanism. But um, that's the pilot uh, pilot downforce. And then, last but not least, we have the Tombow Air Press. So we have the Tombow Air Press. So this is somewhere in between, in terms of smoothness, this is somewhere in between the Pilot and the Fisher and the Schmidt. Um, um, again, I think the Pilot, they're, they're all very similar. I'd give a slight edge in smoothness to the Pilot again, because I just, maybe just Pilot just makes really, really good uh, smooth uh, refills. Um, for example, their, their G2 rollerball refill is just amazing. Um, uh, so that's the Tomboy Everest. Again, writes really well, feels nice, comfortable pen to write with, etc. So that's, uh, that is how these guys write. They all write well. Um, speaking of well, one thing that would be really nice is if you folks could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would be really, really appreciated. Um, in any case, that I think will do it for this video. I hope you like this little diversion from fountain pens into the world of pressurized ballpoints. And until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.